see how they like it. Welcome back. I think I showed you our Cornish cross set up the other day. Um, it's time to get these babies ready to go outside. They've got all their feathers and they're getting bigger and bigger. They don't need the light anymore. So we have Homestead Essentials zip ties, two different sizes. All we're going to do is we're going to put some chicken wire on this turkey tunnel just along the sides. I'm not afraid that the chickens are going to get out. The turkeys could actually fly through the 4x4 four four holes that are in the cattle panels. The Cornish cross chickens will not be able to do that. I do, however, want to make sure that nothing can easily climb in. Once we cover this thing with chicken wire, we're actually going to put a tarp over the top so that they have some shade and shelter from the, from the rain. And they only need this thing, they're only going to be in this thing for max two months. So. I, it's going to work great for that. I would go back in a minute. Yeah, yeah we will. But, but right now we need it. Yeah, we need it when we move under the... Learning. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, it's good. Woo! I'm just gonna slide down to the cheese tray. Oh. I'm gonna poke my eye. Hey, Emma, get off that ground, baby. That's dirty. Like, really, really dirty. Like, super nasty dirty. And so now, as a team effort, we're trying to get out of camera. As a team effort, we're just gonna slide it down. Well, it's, it's still far enough. So even it up with this one. Put the top of it on this one. Okay. So, actually, we're not gonna slide it down anymore? We're gonna slide it down. So, right there. So, I'm gonna need... Hey, Emma, take her Okay, we got a tarp over the top. We've got some wire on the sides. Now we're gonna put some shavings down on the ground to make it nice and comfortable and hygienic for the chickens. This is not ideal. I would rather have my Cornish cross on pasture, but I don't have any pasture to put them on. So this is gonna work for now. Um, we may try growing them like some microgreens or something to help them, help them be healthier or whatever. Um, but this is what we have for now. So this is gonna work great. Just 
just a reminder, these are pine shavings, not cedar shavings. Cedar shavings will make your poor little chickens ill. Now these little chickens are only with us for a max of about three months, but we only want them to have one bad day and that's gonna be the last day. So up until that point, we take good care of them. We try to keep them comfortable. The kids come out here and love on them. Like these, these chickens, they, they're treated well. Trust me, they're treated better than the chickens you get at your supermarket. Get a, we're gonna get a rake. And this is a pretty good size shelter. It's about eight feet wide by, I think it was 10, 10 to 12 foot long. Silly dog. Good boy. Has the Barney seal of approval. Hi there, little guy. What you think? What you think, Bella? Second cover sneak chick. Hey, Barney. Typical boy. Where's some grass growing in here for them to eat? Wow! Ow. All right. Yeah. So, good boy. What you think, little meat chickies? You're gonna get better. You look like the new home. <laughs> 